27th. It is another spring day today. I am trying to decide whether to take Lily a walk or not because my knee is better but it does seem to aggravate it when I go for a walk because where we are it's all uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just go or sit and film something but in all honesty, I don't know what to film. I'm kind of in one of those moods. I should, I'm looking at my tulips. So this is, uh, so my birthday was a week on Thursday ago. <laughs> so we're over a week now. I still have my cards. <laughs> when do you take your cards and see with me, um, I'll probably keep them until Mother's Day, which is next week, uh, March the 14th is Mother's Day for us. So I'll probably get rid of them and then get ready for my Mother's Day ones as well. But <laughs> how long do you keep your birthday cards out? Here's my tulips. Look, looking a bit, you know, looking like I really need to. So it seems to be these need thrown out, but these have still got some life in them. I get that from my mum. My mum would go into a vase and she wouldn't just throw this whole bunch away. She would choose whatever had a little life left. And um, yeah, I'll probably do that and then mix them with the um, carnations that I have in the kitchen and then make one vase full. So that's what I'll probably... I should really do that now, actually. Here's my... The vase of flowers, I'll probably take these into my sitting room now these last for ages i don't know what they're called but these flowers last for ages got some big carnations there as well so i think i'll take these into the sitting room and then sort out the vase in the sitting room which is the tulips and the carnations in the kitchen and i'll probably get just another couple of days from the carnations because they look a bit mm, uh, from the carnations and those tulips that are left my muscles are a little sore i only did a stretch this morning i did do i have been working out but i've been doing it really really low impact and i've been okay with that but i still have today all i did was a stretch because i really want to uh, get out for a walk i've also got washing out and uh, yeah that's what we're at right i'm gonna sort out going to sort out the tulips right now and then I'll decide whether I'm going to go for a walk and then I'll decide whether I'm going to film <laughs> ah, struggling with the filming I'm just I feel as if oh right, I need to put you down because I can't hold the camera and risk spilling these tulips everywhere and then give myself a lot more work okay that's them sorted so that's the tulips and the carnations mixed together so what was left of one vase and what was left of another. Now we shall move these, I'll change the water of these. This is a heavy vase, crystal heavy vase. Oh! And uh, <laughs> try and get them to the sink before I drop them out, they're beautiful. Okay, up you get, oh! Right, we'll get that water changed and get them at the sitting room window. Okay, that's them sorted. And let's re go back from his cycling. Okay, I've decided, I know I look weird, I've decided I'm not going to take Lily a walk just now. It's absolutely freezing, it aggravates my leg. So uh, I'll probably take her a walk after dinner with a big It's really, really chilly today. I've got my glass of wine because I was trying to decide whether to do a review on the vlog about the lipsticks or do a separate video. I'm going to do a separate video, but before I was so we a separate video so I thought I'll sort my hair out a bit because it's looking a bit you know like it needs sorting out and I pulled out my GHD Oracle and then I remembered I was asked to show is it on I was asked is it on it's on now I was asked to show what it actually was and how you actually do it and I've had this for a year and I really couldn't use it and I kind of did two curls and I thought let me show you what 
the oracle is now that I'm actually gonna use it so you just take a wee section of hair you take the oracle okay and you see where that writing is but not burn my face but there's writing there that always has to be like towards the mirror and you just basically run it down your hair like so and then you get a curl like that is that it's as easy as that honestly it's as easy as that but it took me and then I just pin that up there you can see but honestly it's as easy as that and it's re once you get the hang of it it's really quick <laughs> so you just run it through your hair like so look at that that's how easy it is literally and I, I, I moaned about this for ages and ages and oh god this is so hard how is everybody making it look so so easy and I'm struggling with it I've got so much going on on my desk here because I, I like I wouldn't normally do it in it and you just there you go that is honestly how easy that is so that's what the oracle um GHD Oracle is and it's supposed to be an easy way for colouring your hair so for those of us that cannot colour hair with the straighteners this is what this does and you can crimp your hair with it and all of that as well and it really smooths it out gives, leaves it a nice shine so that's what it looks like in there so I'm going to finish my so that, that, that is one side of my hair done already so I think the secret is getting small sections a wee tilt up of the hair and then running it through there you go that's that bit and then that leaves that last bit I, mean, I just really want it to give it a bit of a, a wave in it and I like the shine that it leaves as well that one's not very good but yeah this is not a tutorial but this is just me showing you I if that's too thick a bit let me take a thinner bit see if it is showing you what the article is because I've been asked to show there you go sometimes it's just too Thick. I think that was a bit of a thick one. Well, that's okay. And that's that side done. And then that's what that's like. So I just like it just to give me a bit of a a wave at the bottom, and then I'm gonna spray that as well. And it just do you see? Do you see how it gives it a nice shine? What I haven't worked out. <laughs> can be totally honest is I think you're supposed to kind of get the curls going the right way I haven't worked that bit out yet like what angle I should do it to get the the curls going the right way but hey ho you can and you can tell by the way if it's not in you can tell because it's if it's in properly and then you're going to get a curl out of it you can tell because it goes in smoothly <laughs> look at that unbelievable it's unbelievable because it took me so long and I'm, I don't feel as if I'm doing anything differently now than I was before anyway that's the hair and that's the oracle but I've really been struggling for videos normally I am I can feel that's not smoothing. Normally, I am full of video ideas, and I've normally got a batch of videos ready to upload like through the week. I'm really, I don't know what it is, but I just have lost my <laughs> lost my mojo. It's like and even watching 
YouTube videos I feel as if it's another bag unboxing it's another bag review it's another Cartier bracelet another do you know and I've done them when I feel as if I'm redoing them in all honesty mine that one wasn't very good was it no let's say I probably really do need to redo all my kind of ones that I've done because mine is so old see this now I'm struggling no. Here we go. Got there eventually. Um, yeah, my reviews are really quite old. I've done some recent ones, and they are the ones that if you upload a video on a Cartier or a Chanel, you you get the views. <coughs> and if you or, and if you upload one on Lydia, let me tell you as well. There we go. Right. Let me finish this because, you know, as much as I'm a woman and I should be good at uh, multitasking, I'm not really because I can either concentrate on my hair or concentrate on talking to you. Cheers. Okay. That is it. Really didn't take me any time at all. This is what I'm saying. I think these curls are going that way and these are maybe going this way. I don't know. I'm not a hairdresser, but... That's it, all zhuzhed up. So, filming. So, I'm going to film this as a separate video. Quick, put some swatches on my arms, try it on my lips. I'm wearing one of them just now. The, the one I've got on just now is... What is it? It's a velvet and it's 760. But, oh yeah, so I've, I've been struggling with the videos. It's like... I mean, I've got a whole load of tags that I could do a whole load of them. But, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not feeling them just now. And if I'm not feeling it, so I'm, I can't be bothered sitting here. If I were a handbag, this is the handbag I would be. And if I could only have one handbag in my collection. And if I could, I just feel as if I've done it. And I've said it all. It's, I know it's just the way that I'm feeling, but I'm struggling just now. Um, and if what's the other one and I've been actually been tagged to do if I could only keep five bags one two three four five I'm not choosing <laughs> so that's another tag I need to do and five to keep and five to get rid of Um, so it's hard it's hard because you've really got to be in that right I'm, and I'm, I don't know what's happened to me so I'm like struggling to do tag videos and I feel awful because I mean I love to get tagged on videos and I remember when I did my first ever tag I was so excited to be tagged that was by um, AJ at me and Mr Vuitton she tagged me in a video and I was like, oh, I got tagged, I got yay! And it was so exciting. Now I've got, I've been tagged so many times and I just, I know it's just the way I'm feeling just now. I don't know. It's just the way it is. I just, I want to, I don't know. Anyway, that's how I'm feeling about, I mean, I love filming. I love my YouTube, but I don't know. I'm struggling to talk about handbags. If I it's, maybe it's because I'm hardly ever using a handbag. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I'm struggling so much to talk about handbags. You know, I mean, I I would love to have somewhere to go and use my handbags, but that's just not happening just now. 
Um, oh, the other tag is my most worn luxury items. I'm struggling with that again because we're not going anywhere and I think maybe maybe that's the problem. Anyway, videos and handbags aside, do you know what I'm really excited about? And I know some people have said I'm just not watching it, but the Harry and Meghan. I'm so, so excited to watch. That is like something to look forward to. I know in America it's been viewed today. So today is Sunday and um, we get to watch it tomorrow so what are we all thinking so anyway we'll see time will tell what they say and what they do so i remember i spoke about this when harry and megan were first gonna um move to um america and i was i was quite gutted if i had to be honest um does it make any difference to me <laughs> no it doesn't but that's just at the time I just felt it was you know Diane's boys and all of that so anyway they moved they've moved now they're making a new life you know they they've gone somewhere where they feel they can maybe control the press a little more because they've certainly not been hiding away let's be honest here they certainly haven't been hiding away and um, this is, I suppose, uh, Megan's opportunity to tell her truth. Okay. Now we've all we all have our opinions, and, we, and like uh, like I always say, we all have our opinions, and we're all entitled to our opinions, and um, we're allowed to air our opinions if we so wish so don't come at me <laughs> really don't come at me so i'm in two minds about them this this whole scenario thing of them moving over there if i had to be honest I, I, i'm really again sitting on the fence you know one minute i think oh they shouldn't have gone then i think good on them for going is how I think about it. I don't really care if I had to be honest, but you know, let's just let's just it's just nice to chat about. I have spoken to a few of my friends about it. Some of them are like not interested, who cares? Some of them are like, you know, everybody we all have our opinions. So on the one hand, okay, I think well Megan knew what she was marrying into when she married harry but we don't know what discussions took place you know maybe harry at the time had said so it's going to be very different i'm not going to allow things to happen you know in the same way they've happened blah blah, blah. nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes so you know there's that thing but then on the other hand you think well good on them for kind of putting their foot down and saying oh, we're not accepting this this is not for us and we're getting out of this basically it's how you know it's just the way i think about it so on the one hand it's like good on them on the other hand well you knew what you were getting into that's exactly how i feel i'm kind of go in between the two things um you know she's megan's a strong woman who can stand up for herself and when she wants something she she knows how to get it and i i admire that i admire that in any type of person not just a woman so then i shouldn't criticize her for doing exactly that you know so that's that's, that's just oh but anyway it'll be interesting to see um what is actually said i did see a clip of harry and apparently he only comes in at the end so we don't know apparently the the majority of the interview is with megan um i did see a wee snip where it said where harry said you know i didn't was this what he said i didn't i don't want my wife going through what my mum went through something along those lines i can't remember exactly now the only thing i want to add about that part is what we need to remember what diana what diana went through what what made diana ill what the problem with diana was her husband charles harry's dad 
he was having an affair. Now, this is what we mustn't forget. He was having an affair. And I know Diana then went on to have affairs and all of that because <laughs> she wasn't getting it from Charles. She was going to get it from somewhere else. So, anyway, so, you know, we've got to remember that a lot of Diana's problems were because of Harry's dad, because of Prince Charles. So this is one thing we need to remember here. You know, we kind of blame the firm. Who knows what's going on within the firm? Who knows? That's what I would say. You know, if you're not there, you don't know. Um, but, you know, her, her problem was um, Charles. And then there's the other thing, you know, and it was like, oh, they're doing this interview, especially over here. Oh, my goodness, they're doing... I mean, Diane... Diana did an interview about her marriage, the book. Charles did the same. He did it as well. So it's not as if what they're doing is anything new because both Diana and Charles did it. So it's all of that. So it's all very, very interesting and it's very, very entertaining. And after all, the royal family are there to entertain us. Oh God, I'm going to get some abuse. Go for it. Cheers. So anyway, I'm quite excited to watch that. So we get to see that tomorrow. Right, I'm going to go and film this. And talking of makeup, I'm not enjoying my Estee Lauder foundation. And it's a foundation I have worn for absolute years. Years, 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 years. And I've just gone up. I feel it's too heavy. I feel if, if I go for a lighter colour, it's going to look too powdery. I'm not wearing Morning Aura with it. And I suppose I'm wearing a sunblock and maybe that's why I'm not liking it. Talking of Estee Lauder, they have just take bought they have just bought over the ordinary as well. So that's another one under their um you know I mean we know Estee Lauder. Joe Malone Clinique Tom Ford Beauty Oh the list is endless. The list is endless. They own the majority of beauty products. Okay, enough about that because I don't know enough about it. So. Hello and welcome to the 8th of March. Today's the day that we see the interview with Meghan, Harry and Oprah. Yes, but we haven't seen it yet. So we're viewing it tonight at 9 o'clock. I have just finished cleaning upstairs and I'm going to go and do a workout. Cheers. I'm having my uh, mint tea. It's the only tea I really like. Okay, it does. What does it say here? I'm not a bossy. I am the boss. Okay, so the interview. So we've not seen it, but we've had snippets of it all day long. Like I'm getting like, let me just watch it and move on because it's you know when it's on all day, it's a lot. So we've had it's. Where do I begin? What snippets have we had? Well, let's address the big thing first and foremost the racism with the baby which is totally unacceptable but again at the moment we haven't seen it we haven't seen the proper interview we're just getting snippets of it so there's that which is a big thing in itself we have seen at the moment about What's very interesting as well is the fact that Megan's family wasn't mentioned apparently in the interview because like I keep saying I haven't yet seen it but apparently Megan nothing was asked about her family so this was all about the royal family which I find very very strange because it was supposed to be a tell all you know nothing held back and we're supposed to believe that Oprah wouldn't have asked her anything about her family. But we've always, we've also heard that at the moment that Oprah still has more footage or something like that. There's still more to be aired because, I don't know, there's, some, there's something like that. So I don't know if maybe in this bit that hasn't been aired yet, if she asks her about her family then. What else? Oh, that she's having a little girl and uh, Harry wasn't there for the whole interview. Um, now, back to the important thing about the racism. So they've said about somebody had a family 
member of the royal family questioned if the baby was questioned the baby's colour let's see and but they, they won't say who it is I know that doesn't matter but I hate half a story basically you know if you're gonna talk about that then say who said it um, I mean we all have a kind of rough idea who said it but anyway I'm not going to say any more about it at the moment because I haven't seen it so I'm just seeing what's been shown on the TV um, but I, I still stand by what I've always said which is Prince Charles has a lot to blame for a lot to blame for as far as I'm concerned had a lot to blame for with Diana and with this situation and apparently he's now not taking calls from his son what kind of parent does that <laughs> um, but anyway to me do you know what it might be the royal family but these things happen in all families all families you know when somebody from a totally different background comes into another family you, you, you hear about these stories all the time where you know families just don't get on when there's maybe a very strong character and will not kind of abide by the rules and regulations of the other family because that person doesn't agree with them so cheers on that one and cheers to families right so basically that's i've been listening to that in the background all day today whilst i've been doing my cleaning upstairs so things, ding, just now and uh, i'm gonna go and work out i'm gonna go and shower and then i'm gonna chill and oh i've still to have my dinner and then i'm gonna chill and uh, watch that program with a wee cup of tea if i even have a wee hot chocolate tonight because it's monday and we don't do wine on a monday this is, I'm just going to show my hair, look. This is my hair from me curling it yesterday. That's what it looks like. Oh, look. See, if I'd put some makeup on, I could sit here and do a, 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 a video. <laughs> There's my clip gone. Right, I'm going to have to tie it up anyway. The clip won't hold it when I'm prancing around. I'm just going to do a wee 30 minute high impact. Boom, boom, boom. And the is still not 100%, but it's well enough that I can then... Um, exercise with caution and I'm also going to do my nails as well hello and welcome to the 9th of March I've just uh, finished the workout hence why I look like this but I thought I feel as if I need to finish what I started so I've now seen the interview and uh, the palace have also given a statement and when I say the interview, obviously I'm talking about Oprah's interview with Harry and Meghan. And I've also seen that she, Meghan was also asked about her father, but that wasn't aired in the same show. I don't know if they're going to do another one to show, you know, the other side when Meghan speaks about her family. I don't know if she spoke about her family. All that we saw today was... A question or two that Oprah asked Megan about her dad and we have also seen Megan's dad being interviewed as well by Piers Morgan who incidentally has also resigned today over all of this anyway okay I'm not gonna address all the issues raised in that interview what I will say is because there's a lot of big, big, big issues that were raised in that interview, big issues. What I will say is there's always two sides to a story and we've only heard one side at the moment. We've only heard the one side of the story. There is never smoke without fire some big big issues being raised in the interview one being that a member of the royal family was racist um, because of the comments made about Archie or the baby or the baby to be because I don't actually think 
Megan was pregnant at the time when the comment was made. It was apparently a racist comment. None of us were there. We don't know how the comment was made. Megan wasn't there. It was made to Harry and Harry related the comment back to Megan. So there's that which is a big issue in itself and the palace have said they are going to look into it. There's the issues of Megan asking for help and not being given help. Um, the title being taken away from uh, Archie, which officially he wouldn't naturally be given the title of Prince. Um, because it's his grand, it's his great grandmother that's the monarch. He would, once Charles became king, he would then be entitled to the title if Charles wanted to give it to him. I think that's what was said in the interview that he, he wasn't going to give him that title. And the issues go on and on and on. And honestly, I'm exhausted with the whole thing. I don't know what they have to gain. I don't know what their gain is by this interview, if I had to be honest. Um, you know, they've, they've got out of that situation. They're not in that situation anymore. That situation is not a problem for them anymore. I think Megan says she wanted to she wanted to do the interview because she was fed up with all these lies being fed about her and this was her way of telling her side of things it's just so complicated and i don't know if i think i i i cannot see and i'm i'm not gonna sit here and i'm not gonna sit here and take sides with either one or the other i don't have to do that it's not my family it's not my problem i do think they could have chosen a better time if they had to do this interview they could have chosen a much better time than now when we've got this global pandemic going on when there's so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people dying or have died you know in comparison to what's happening now is that so important at the moment you know they could they could have chosen a better time plus the fact harry's grandfather is in hospital there's all these other issues and i hope now basically i hope now that they've done their they've done their interview they've got it off their chest that that's it the palace said they're going to investigate the accusations within the family. Um, so there we go. So that honestly, I'm sorry if I've disappointed you, but that is my honest opinion. I've been listening to it now and listening to it and listening to it. And when I, I, I did feel, I, I, the other thing is I'm going to be totally honest here as well I did feel the interview was staged I felt it was very staged the whole thing I felt was staged um, and that's it that's that's just you know remember this is my opinion none of us actually know what's happened none of us really 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 know none of us were there so um, let's keep it nice in the comments. And on that note, 